Hi, I'm Heba Karayim. I work for Mina.tv. I'm the client director for Mina.tv. It's an online content marketplace. In my mind, there's three types of buyers in Mina, and I think it's similar in other markets as well. Um, there's the broadcasters. There's plenty of broadcasters in the Mina region, mostly free to air. And there's, of course, the pay, the pay TV broadcasters. Um, there's the OTT platforms, which is increasing, um, and there's, of course, the telcos. Um, so these are the three major buyers in MENA. So they will obviously want what their audiences want. Um, and it varies by territory. It also varies by language and by demographics. And there, you know, there's a, a mix of, of factors that they consider when they actually buy the content. Um, if we go by genre, the majority of if you, if you look at you know what's what's broadcast on TV, or if you look at what's popular on OTT platforms, just by scrolling um, or browsing the internet, or just flipping through your TV, uh, you'll find that the majority of animation, for example, is is imported. It's not locally produced. The other genre that we we kind of um, that I identified as as having a, a majority um, of it imported is documentaries. Uh, there is a, a slight shortage of documentaries in the regions. When it comes to dramas, you'll find that there's also a, a big demand for dramas. Um, so if you look at, for example, a market like Saudi Arabia, um, the top viewed dramas, it's uh, Turkish dramas, uh, followed by Bollywood. And then, um, you know, there's also high demand for Korean dramas. Um, and also Arabic, of course, during the month of Ramadan. The Middle East may appear to be closed off to most of the world, um, but in fact, when it comes to content, the, reach, the region is actually very accepting of, uh, of imported content, and it even seeks content, and it has been doing so um, with local, even with the local TV stations since the 1980s. As long as there is a story that is appealing or, or an informative piece of, um, a piece of content um, that does not um, go against culture, religion, or, um, or political views, or is very highly political, then there is a chance for it, a very strong chance for it in the region. Well, I think it's very important for the region to have an established marketplace for, for the media industry. Um, and the reason for that is it's important for buyers and sellers to socialize, to have a face-to-face -face interaction. Um, whether it's selling, co-producing, swapping, or uh, collaborating to reduce costs, you know, it's important for a, market, for a marketplace to exist. Um, and the reason for that is because it's in, in such a market in the Middle East, it's important to build a long-term relationship uh, between uh, you know buyers and sellers. And Mina buyers are generally very, very loyal customers. So if they have a good experience with a particular um, distributor or seller in the region, chances are the repeat business will it's almost certain. Most distributors, when they come to the region, they expect to close a deal right away, um, which is great if it happens, and it sometimes does happen, a lot of times it does happen. But it's important to understand that for at those times when, when a deal isn't closed right away, um, this market requires a, a, a bit of patience because it's, it's important to build a relationship and develop, um, develop that long-term relationship. You're almost certainly gonna get repeat business. Thank you so much for hosting me. Please come and visit us at the Mina TV booth um, at the Dubai International Content Market on the 9th and 10th of December. I'll be there, so come and say hi and check out what Mina.tv is.